Torah TV. The world is thinking. So if your human chimp split is restricted to approximately six million years ago, it would mean a seven million year old fossil is not a human or a chimp. It's prior to that split. And a 4.5 million or a 5.8 million year old fossil would have to be on one or the other lineage. It should, these molecular estimates, if you can believe in them, restrict your ability to hypothesize things outside of those estimates. Molecular data, I'll give a very brief example, also allows us to infer when all modern humans split because we can measure all of us on the planet and infer back to our common ancestor. As many of you may have heard, we have now sequenced multiple Neanderthal DNA sequences and in fact within the next three months the complete three billion bases of the Neanderthal genome are about to be published. So we can infer issues about when Neanderthals last shared a common ancestor and as our closest relatives when Neanderthals and humans shared a last common ancestor. And again, this is going to place some constraints on our interpretations of the fossil record. An example of that is the fossil hominin or hominid Auroran tugenensis, which dates to just about six million years ago. So the original discoverers, uh, Mark, Martin Pickford and Brijou Sanu, actually proposed that this fossil, this six million year old fossil, was a bi fully bipedal hominin that was directly on the human lineage. In fact, closer to us than even Lucy and the other Australopithecines. But in this is their figure, that would push the human chimp split back well before six million years. On the other hand, if you are willing to at least concede my view that maybe this split is only six million years, it's going to constrain your interpretations of Auroran. Auroran may indeed be a hominin right here, but it's no longer presumably definitely along the Homo lineage itself to the exclusion of Australopithecines. This is just one example. Artipithecus, beautiful specimen. I mean this is four point, uh, over four and a half million years old, almost as complete as Lucy. It tells us about bipedality and all sorts of aspects. But in fact, I, I hate to say, it actually, since it's within that six million and it's on our lineage, it confirms hypotheses about early bipedality and all this stuff, but it's not a new groundbreaking thing. But not all science is groundbreaking. Confirmation is as important as unconfirmed new hypotheses. So as, as much as I admire the work that went into working on Auroran, it's real solid confirmatory science, not groundbreaking new things that changes the human family tree, if you will.